Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. how's everything? How is everything? Teacher. Oh. Hello, hello, Ana. Fíjese que tengo bien malita de salud a mi mamá, con vómito, la presión bien alta, así que le pido permisito ahí para estar de oyente porque me voy a estar levantando a cada ratito. Ok, está bien, eh, Ana Graciela, no tenga pena, que se recupere pronto su madrecita. Yeah. All right. So, uh, María Wendy, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Nelson. Good evening, hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Diana. Teacher. Diana is over here. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Elsa, good evening. Romel, good evening. Carla, good evening. Anderson. Anderson, mm -hmm. Jeremy. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello there. Kenny. Jaime, Yvonne. Uh, Floricia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hope. Hello. Hope we're going to have a great time to together tonight. Since we are going to talk a little about how to pronounce certain verbs in English. Okay, yesterday we started with simple past tense. Tonight we are going to continue with it. And don't worry because, you know, simple past is a, is a topic that is a little bit long. You know, it's not like today we started with simple past and tomorrow it's going to be over. No, it, English is not that way. English is practicing daily over and over and over and over and over again. Learning new wo new words, new vocabulary, new verbs. I mean, it is quite important to, to continue studying uh, every single day. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, uh, Blanca. Good evening. Good evening. I'm really happy to see everybody here. Still waiting for the rest. I have 16 people. Uh, hopefully we're gonna have um, a great time together and everybody will learn, which is the most important uh, objective of this session. All right, so I'm still waiting for the rest. Have 16 people, 17 people connected and still waiting for. So meanwhile, they just got into this session. I will check list attendance, and then we're gonna start with the topic we're in church of working tonight. Okay. Okay, so list attendance, be ready, please. Say hello, say present. Mm, yeah, this is the one. Ana Graciela. Present teacher. Anderson. Present teacher. Armando Antonio. Armando Antonio Albanes. Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Carlos Aníbal. Present. Cecia Gemina. Decía, Diana Patricia. Present teacher. Okay, Elmer Alexander. <coughs> Elmer, are you there? Elsa Noelia. Present. Okay. Floricia. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Ingrid Esmeralda. Ingrid, Ingrid, Ingrid. Jaime Iván. I saw Jaime uh, Ivan. Oh, yeah. Karina Jamilet. Karina Jamilet. Carla Gabriela. Present teacher. Uh, Carla is over here. Give me a second, Carla. All right. Uh, Kenny Guadalupe. Kenny. Maria Imelda. Present teacher. Maria Wendy. Present teacher. Marisol. 
Present teacher. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Rommel. Present teacher. Ronald. Ronald Alexander. And Wilfredo Alberto. I hear the job. Good. So we're going to start. Hope you are more than ready. I don't know if you drank some coffee just before getting into the Teacher, class. Excuse hello. me. Hello, hello. Eh, eh, cuando iba por Carla y luego iba yo, me sacó de la clase. Ya no pude contestar. What's your name? Kenny Guadalupe. Jenny. A ah, Kenny. A ah, Kenny Guadalupe. That's yes. right. Okay, Kenny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, don't worry because remember that I checked this attendance twice in the in the session. Okay. So well, tonight we're gonna continue talking about simple past tense. Yesterday we studied about it, so we started and that topic, and tonight we're going to continue doing so. Simple past tense with regular verbs was the topic we started yesterday. And tonight we're going to continue doing so. Kenya and Ronald, good. I saw your message in the chat. Don't worry. So, people, this was the topic we started yesterday, right? Okay, Ronald, I got it. I got your message. Okay, this was the topic, knowledge check, and simple pass with ED ending is the topic that's coming in a minute. But before going to that part, let us just work in the knowledge check. Okay, so you know, we are in church of uh, changing the verse in the parenthesis to the past to complete the story. And you don't need to type a period and it is already placed, all right? So tell me on Friday night, uh, wait. Simple pass. What is the simple pass of wait? Wait. Look for it in the internet if you don't know. On Friday night, I for I, a phone call. I wait. 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 Ah, someone said it. Wait it. Wait it. Wait. Now, on Friday Wait. night, I waited for a phone call. Wait. Wait. But my girlfriend not called. But my girlfriend not called. Didn't call. Didn't, Didn't call. call. Didn't, Didn't call. call. Didn't call. Didn't call. Okay? It's okay? Okay. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. 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 So no, what's the problem? Car, 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 car. The problem is with cold. What's the problem with cold? It is. It is yes, a problem. No, it is correct. It is not correct. Like this way? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Very good. You you pay special attention yesterday. I just stayed home in TV. Watch. 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 Watched TV. What? What? On Saturday, I, my friend from visit. What is the pass of visit? What is the pass of visit? Visit. Ah, visit. 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 Okay. We talked and to music. Listening. Listen. Listen. Listen to music. Listen. In the Listen. evening, he invited some friends over and we a great meal. Cook. 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 Huh? Cook. 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 Well, Cook. fortunately, Cook. we're going to study about ED ending tonight. Not work very hard on Sunday. I not work. Didn't work. I didn't, didn't work. work. Didn't work. Didn't, didn't work. work. Very hard on Sunday. Good. Not study at all. Didn't study. 
Good evening, evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm here. Sorry. I'm getting home from work. Oh, yeah. Okay. So don't worry. Okay. Fortunately, you are in the class now. Hey, I didn't study at all. I just walked to the mall then. Shop. And. Shop. 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 And. Shop. Shop. And. Shop. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna check Shop. the answers. Shop. 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 Yeah, shop. Okay, so don't worry because we're gonna study that tonight. So the first one, great teeth, correct. Didn't call, correct. Watched, correct. Visited or listened. Uh, cooked, cooked, didn't work, didn't study, shocked. Shocked. Yeah, great job, great job. So hopefully you you already finished with it. Okay, now, uh, well, we're gonna start. Let me see. I think I have something else here just before getting to the, to, to the other part. Uh, this, this, so we're going to try to introduce this. Pronunciation of simple past, ed, ending. So ed refers to regular verbs, right? And I told you yesterday that it's about having three, three, three um, pronunciation forms with regular verbs. So let us pay attention. Then you are going to see a video that I shared in the, in the WhatsApp group. And then we're going to solve some exercises and the class will be done like that. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. So let us Ready. see. Ready. Now listen, teacher. So I'm sorry. I will try to correct it. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's my fault. Now, yes, I think. What? Hi, everyone. Now, do you listen to it? Yes. 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 Okay, so yes. pay attention because later you're going to answer a couple of questions about it. As you learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited, visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, okay, turn. To repeat. It's important. Turn. Watch, turn. Watch, Watch turn. 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 Watch, turn. Watch, turn. turn. Watch, turn. Watch. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Land has D sound. So we pronounce the past as 
landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, Help. watched, looked, watched, watched, laughed, watched, breathed, laughed. kissed, breathed. danced, fixed. The following consonants the next have one. voice sound. Voice L sound. So we're gonna see that N later. R G V S W Y Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs and then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay, people, now before continuing, I saw a very important Adam information Stanley. in this video. So we're gonna so try we pronounce to, the we're gonna try to see some examples and why do we pronounce them in, in, in a certain way. Now, for example, work, watch, clean, stay, and invited or if, if visited. So, as you can see here, we have three different pronunciations, right? Ayer yo les mencioné que teníamos tres diferentes pronunciaciones, ¿sí? T sound, D sound, and E sound. Okay? So three pronunciation. And the first one, for example, la ed es la que suena así. ¿Cómo suena la ed acá? Word. 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 Now, second pronunciation. Do, do. Clean the. 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 Clean Yo lo digo así porque estoy enseñando la pronunciación, ¿no? Que cuando se habla de manera natural ya no decimos clean, no, clean. El día de hoy es invited. 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 So I will teach you. Yeah, I will teach you. Le voy a enseñar. Invited. Como una clave. Para ver cómo es que definimos cuándo suena de esta manera, cuándo de esta manera y cuándo de esta manera. Si estamos hablando de regular verbs, ¿ok? Todos ellos pertenecen a una misma familia de verbos. Verbos regulares. Pero hay una, dos, tres pronunciaciones que hay que aprender. ¿Ok? So, let's see. Look at has as Len has as landed or is it okay, okay. voiceless? And now there's something that in the video it's called voiceless and voiced, voiceless and voiced. And this is like the I really love this chart. Me encanta este 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 cuadrito por acá porque lo define muy bien. Like, for example, we have E, the T, and D sound. Okay, now we have voiceless, 
¿A qué le vamos a llamar voiceless? Aquí está. Sonido voiceless. Y en el otro dice que es voiced. Si yo les digo, hey, how do you pronounce, or how do you, what is the sound of this letter? ¿Cuál es el sonido de esta letra? Sí. L. P. P. No, solo, hey, listen to me, listen to me. Solo es el sonido. Help. Help. Yeah, it's only the sound. Listen to this one. ¿Cuál es el sonido de esta, de esta, de esta, de esta letra? Sonido. Ah, sound. What about the sound of this one? What about the sound of this one? What about the sound of this one? Mm -hmm. This is it. Like laugh, laugh. 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 Breeze. The kiss. 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 Dance. Dance. Fix. Fix. So all of them, todos ellos, se vamos a llamar voiceless. Okay, but what does it mean voiceless? ¿Qué significa eso de voiceless y eso de voiced? Por ejemplo, si yo digo la K, hagan el sonido de la K. Ahora hagan el sonido de la G. It's kind, of, it's kind of funny, right? Es un poquito gracioso, pero es importante. Vale, si ustedes se fijan, es el mismo. Ponemos nuestra lengua, nuestras cuerdas vocales. Bueno, la boca en la misma posición, ¿sí o no? ¿Sí o no? Solo que un sonido voiceless y el otro sonido es voiced. ¿Qué es lo que hace la diferencia? Si estoy... Pro, si estoy articulando el, la, como, como para hacer el mismo sonido, pero en realidad hay, hay algo que varía. Si yo hago este sonido y toco mis cuerdas vocales, me voy a dar cuenta que ellas no vibran. No vibran. Pero si, si, si hago este sonido, g, 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 y toco mis cuerdas vocales, se van a dar cuenta que ahí sí vibran. ¿Ya, ¿Ya lo hicieron? Yes. Sí. Ok, ¿se dieron yes. cuenta? Yes. Va, entonces, cuando nuestras cuerdas vocales no vibran, le vamos a llamar voiceless. Cuando, el, cuando los sonidos vibran, porque usamos nuestras cuerdas vocales, le vamos a llamar voiced. Ok, so, this is like the first part. Es lo primero que hay que aprender. Now, ¿A qué quiero llegar? Bueno, ¿qué, ¿qué tiene que ver esos sonidos con, con la ED, teacher? Ah, oh, well. Si termina con letra P o sonido, el sonido voiceless. ¿Sí o no? Entonces, si es sonido voiceless, al final va a sonar como una letra T. La ED. Helped. Look. 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 Sonido T. Look. Allá arriba les han puesto el sonido T. Ahí está el sonido. Todos estos son sonidos, sonido T. Va, veamos Wash. el primero. Wash. Out. 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 Second. Out. Look. Second. Look. Look. Washed. Watched. 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 Laughed. 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 No. Esto suena como no. F, miren. Esas tres no. letras suenan como F. Laughed. Love. 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 Ya definimos cuándo va a sonar, como T. Segunda parte, o segunda parte, o segundo cuadrito. Si hacemos el sonido L, suena o no, o vibran o no vibran nuestras cuerdas vocales. Con el sonido L. 
Vibra. No. No vibra. Ahora sí vibra. Entonces el sonido voiced. Que cuando tengamos sonido voice, la ED va a sonar como. Sí. Sí. Cold. Miren, clean. Offered. Okay, so we got amazed. Amazed. Okay, so y hay una tercera opción. Miren, todos los verbos que terminan en D o en T van a sonar como ir. Ejemplo, want. Did. Want did. Need did. 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 Want did. Now, questions about it? Preguntas? <laughs> questions about Profe, it? Eh, sí. Profe, este, usted dice que todos los verbos que terminan con el sonido T eh, no vibran. Y que no, no vibran. No, no, no. Eh, siempre terminan con o cómo. No, no, no. Me no. confunden en esa parte. Ya. Al final, si tenemos verbos con T o con D, como want, que termina en T, y como need, que termina en D, el sonido va a ser id. Id. Want it. Need it. ¿Ok? Sí, sí, pero mi pregunta es otra. Los verbos que terminan con el sonido T no vibran, ¿verdad? No. No, 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 no. Pues estoy confundida. No, uh, está, veamos. Estos son sonidos, ¿ok? Sonidos, no son letras. Estas son sí. letras y cada letra tiene un sonido. ¿Ok? Si vemos el sonido uh -huh. de la P... El sonido de la K, el sonido de la SH, va. y cada vez que usted eh, hace el sonido de estas letras y toca, sus toca su garganta, se va a dar cuenta que no vibran las cuerdas vocales. Uh -huh. Ahí no vibran, ¿verdad? Entonces, Entonces, cuando, entonces no vibran, cuando no vibran. Va a ser sonido T. Sonido, Vamos a sonido hacer sonido. T. La ED va a tener sonido T. Sí, sí. ¿Ok? Ok, sí, entiendo. Ahora, lo bien. opuesto es que vibren. Esta no vibra, pero el sonido L sí vibra. R, G. Todos esos vibran. Nuestras cuerdas vocales vibran. Entonces, cada vez que nos encontremos con eso. La ED va a sonar como D. Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. ¿Ok? Suenan como D. Sí. Ahora, cualquier verbo que usted se encuentre, que termine en T o en D, la pronunciación va a cambiar a id. Wanted, ni did. Ya no es ni este sonido, ni este sonido. Es uno nuevo, es id. Sí, entiendo. All right. So, let's sí. see. Gracias. Vamos a practicar un poco con algunos ejercicios para que le, le encontremos como, digamos, como el, el meollo al asunto. Let's see, por aquí tengo un par de páginas. Let me see. Uh, for example, I have this exercise. Past simple exercises from ED, IED. For example, we have the man. Ahora dígame cómo va a sonar ese verbo. ¿Cuál de las dos? ¿La primera o la segunda? Dice first or second, first or second. Second. 
second. Vaya a elegir al second. ¿Cómo va a sonar ese verbo? Enjoy. First and second. Enjoyed. The second. Enjoyed. Second. Enjoyed. We enjoyed. Now, where's the enjoyed. pronunciation of enjoy? Enjoy. 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 ¿Qué sonido va al final de enjoy? Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, D sound. It's a D. Suena como D al final, ¿no? Ajá, enjoy. 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 Study first or second? First. 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 Pronunciation. Study. 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 Study for the exam. Study. Study. The baby. First or second? Right. First. First. Cried. Cried. The postman. Cried. First or second? Verified. Yeah, Verified. first or second? First or second? Uh, second. 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 How do you pronounce verify? Verified. 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 Excellent. Condeno. Verified. Verified. My parents. Verified. Verified. First Verified. or second? Second. Paid. The cook is right. The librarian classified classified the books. She played played tennis. The wind dried dried dried. So we got we got a hundred percent, right? So you're quite oh, good at doing very so. good. Good job. <laughs> good job, good job. Yeah, so you know about ED and the pronunciation, you are getting more familiarized with this. So simple past tense. I think this is the one. Mm -hmm. I have well, I have 15 over here. So what what am I going to do? I will I will give you. The link, I'll share the link so that you can work on it. Le voy a compartir el enlace en el chat y le voy a dar cinco minutos para que lo termine. Ya luego solo me van dictando utilizando la pronunciación correcta. Ok, por ahí está en el chat el enlace. You have 10 minutes, would be all right. No, it would be like seven minutes, siete minutos para que lo termine. Ok. Okay, okay, people. Okay. Okay. Do your Teacher, best. I'm going to write. Okay. Oh, you're gonna write. Yes, teacher. Okay. So, ya lograron acceder a la página. Accedan a la página y completenlo. De ahí solo me van diciendo cómo va. Please.
Rushed. Rushed. Excellent. Some people is look, are looking for pronunciation. That's really good. Brushed. Played. Studied. Oh. 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 Watch it. Right. Water. Water. Right. We are almost done. Remember to finish all of them. Uh, do you finish? Hope you already finished. Do you finish? No, where is it? No, not yet. Yes. Yeah, you already finished. You already finished. Okay, tell me the, the answer for this one. Uh, yes, brushed. 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 Brush. Now, I don't know, but I hear somebody saying brush it. No, no, brush. brush it. No, brushed. Brush. Brushed. Brush. Brushed. Brushed. What about number two? Brushed. Play. 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 Number three. Play. Study. Study. Number four. Study. 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 Number five. Help. 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 Number six. Help. Washed. 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 Number seven. Cried. The baby cried. Cried. Like that, right? Cried. Cried. Yeah, right. the man so fast. Walk, 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 wal
My mother, the flowers, greater. Water, sorry. That's another verb, to water the plants. Greater. My mother. Greater. Greater. Waiter. 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 That simple pass, Waiter. right? So my mother. Uh huh. Water. Water. Yeah. Water. 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 The flowers. Water. Water. The, Water. the policeman. Stop. Stop it. Stop. 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 She, oh. the door. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. She open. opened the door. Open. Number 14. We're almost done. We are missing two. Sonia. Miss. 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 Sonia. Miss. 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 Missed the train. Miss. The number 15. Uh, I like light. Light. light my teacher, light my teacher. Light. All right, so it's quite good, it's quite fantastic. Now, let's go over the next, next exercise. So, you have you will have this now, we'll give you like five minutes more, cinco minutos más para que me digan la respuesta de esto. Chat, people. In the chat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That was my fault. Yeah. Well, I will share. I will share the link once again in the chat. There you are. Completely, please. We have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you finish. Ask, ask, ask. And then, and then, ask. Okay, hope you're working over oh, here now. This is about mm -hmm. pronunciation, right? T, D, or E. The uh, count, so. count, T. I you helped go. you with the first. Uh, up to you. All right. Active. Right in it. Open it. Open it. Finish it. Work. Life. Well, uh, uh, Rutilio is just sharing some uh, words. Okay, moved, waited, rain, cooked, needed, expected, etc., etc.
So in the in the first one, con teeth. In the second one, smart. Ad. D D or id. E D. E D. This one. D. D. Smart. Did you say smoking? No, no, no. Smart. With T sound. Smart. What about this one? Help. Help. Pretty good. D sound. Do we have a right? Mm -hmm. Arrived. Right. What is the best option? Arrive. T. Say arrive. Arrive. No, it's with letter and date. Arrive. Arrive. Clean. Clean it. Yeah, one, two, or three. Number. D. D. Is it D sound? Arrived. All right. Cleaned. So what about stop? D. D. Stopped. Stopped. What about play? Played. 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 Very Played. good. Now, decide. 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 It's about decided. Decided. Listened. 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 This sound? D. Okay. Say listen okay. or listen. 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 Right. So that's the best option, right? So in the last one, collect. 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 Right? Collect. So we check in. And Teacher, uh, la, la number nine, creo que está incorrecta. Oh, yeah, that's right. So what, what is the correct one? D. D sound, right? Listen, I will check it. We're going to check it. We're going to see. Okay, so decide D. Decide. So what's the problem D. with it? Okay. Wow. That's the second one. And let's see, we're almost done with it. Let's see. So let us do something. Vamos a escuchar las, las historias que prepararon para nosotros esta noche. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Nelson. Uh, Bueno, en español lo voy a decir. Vaya, estas eh, son las tres posibles pronunciaciones, ¿verdad? Que, que yeah. acabamos de, de, de estudiar. Eh, cuando termina en ED, se pronuncia en T, ED con D, y cuando terminan en T y D, se pronuncia y D, ¿verdad? Al final. Pero dentro de estas tres reglas, digamos, cuando termina el verbo en una, en una, en una vocal, eh, ¿en qué regla? So if it is a vowel, si hacemos los sonidos de la de las vocales es son con son a voiced or voiceless. Oh, okay. A E oh. I O E vibran? Voices teacher. Vibran oh. o no vibran las oh. cuerdas vocales? Vibran. Si vibran, entonces va a ser sonido de oh. Voice. Ah, okay. Voice. Yeah, it would be this sound. 
No more questions? Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay, I want to listen to some stories. Quiero escuchar por lo menos a tres, cuatro, o tres o cuatro historias. Go ahead, les dejo el tiempo a ustedes para que participen. Teacher. Excellent, Aníbal. Go ahead. Uh, my story is uh, on the uh, work up in the night. Very scared I got out of bed. Second, uh, I was five in the morning. I headed to the char. I, I was going to take a bath. When I read it, I went to look, I went to look at the clock. And it was 12 midnight. Uh, so I went back to her to build and feel asleep in the woke up and till 6 30 a.m in the morning and i was late for work well you're good excellent now who follows that was the first right second participant my teacher Excellent, Armando, go ahead. Uh, the memory that has marked me in my life is when my daughter called me dad for the first time and walked towards me talking her first steps. I remember that I came from work and she was standing, holding in the bed, on the bed and walking towards me alone and saying, daddy, That was it, Armando? Hey, quite, quite good. It's getting better. Now, the participant. Teacher. Me too. Okay. Well, Nelson and after Nelson, Floricia. Okay. Mm, my story is title practice sport. I really like in practicing sport, for example, cycling, soccer. And last year, uh, I started swimming and learning very well. In July of the year, I went for the first time some swimming open water in a competition. And my satisfaction was so great that I swam two kilometers and one fifth place. It was a wonderful experience. Thank you for listening to my story. Thank you for sharing your story. Now listen, where where are we? Uh, let me see. Floricia, right? Okay. Uh, my story is one day last week they were with my family in a shopping mall. I stopped to see some shoes that I was to buy. My, my son was nearby, um, but three minutes away. Mm, no one saw him come at Aristotle. He was no longer in his store. He was in a mechanic games. This is my story. Thank you very much. Hey, congrats because you uh, were like uh, doing your best day for him. Saben, este, vamos a dejar la oportunidad para seguir en la próxima clase para aquellos que no lograron participar esta noche. Lo pueden hacer luego. Voy a pasar la lista y vamos a ir cerrando la sesión de esta noche. Let me see. Ok. Uh, Ana Gabriela. Uh, Graciela, sorry. Graciela, sorry. Yeah, Anderson. I'm here. Armando Antonio. Uh, Armando Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Armando Antonio, thank you. Uh, Carlos Aníbal. I'm here. 
سيسيا همينا سيسيا او هير يس ديانا باتريسيا هير تيشر المير الكسندر هير تيشر المير سو هير إلسا نويليا I'm here Floricia Ingrid Present Ingrid Hi, Ivan I am here, teacher Karina Yamilet Present, teacher Karina Yamilet Karina Yamilet Carla Gabriela Present teacher. Kenny Guadalupe. Present. All right. Maria Imelda. Present. Maria Wendy. Present teacher. Marisol. Present teacher. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Rommel. Present teacher. Uh, Ronald. Present teacher. Okay, so everybody got into the class. I really love that. Uh, Wilfredo. Teacher, a mí no me, a mí no me pronunció. What is your, your name? Blanca Stephanie. Blanca Stephanie Vasquez? Sí. Thank you. There's no need trouble. Hey, congrats. Felicidades. Todos estamos en clase hoy. La verdad que yo sé que no es fácil. Pero sí es posible, porque así como lo, lo hacen ustedes, este, pues eso quiere decir que, que, que hacer un esfuerzo de ingresar, estar muy, muy pendiente, participa, participando activamente en las clases, eso nos va a beneficiar mucho. Uh, we're going to stop going here. Continuamos con esas historias el día de mañana. Eh, por ahí les compartí dos videos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Yo mañana, quiero que los vean, por lo menos que unas, unas dos, tres veces estaría bien que los vieran. Porque mañana voy a preguntarles a, a algunos de ustedes qué es lo que aprendimos esta noche. ¿Ok? Sí, sí, sí. Compañera Karina, su nombre está mal escrito, dice Caína. <risa> En serio, ya me asustaron. Gallina, dice. Ya me leo. Ah, pues así me tienen que decir gallina. No, gallina, dice, con K. Gallina. Gallina. Yo ya sé que no has dejado ahora, mi lupito. Es de aprovecharlo. Ey, este. Entonces quería. No, vamos a pasar mañana con la historia. ¿Ah? No, vamos a pasar mañana con la historia, supongo. Sí. Se pueden pasar al, al grupo las historias para que las veamos. Para claro claro. que sí. Sí, ahí vean si las empezamos a mandar. Yo ya la mandé. Uy, chica, qué bárbaro, <ríe> compañero. Prepárense que ya lo van a cortar. No, faltan dos minutos. Faltan dos minutos. Si, empe si empiezan a hablar de la novela, ya lo van a cortar. Ahí, sí. a hablar de que Blanca siempre la que estaba aquí, ríe ahí. Bien risueña. Se nos ha perdido, Blanquita. Yo no. 